dogs. I'm here with Maya and her owner Zoe and her walker Jesse, and we're gonna walk her a bit and show you how to communicate with a dog who's very leash reactive. So hopefully we'll see some of that. Hey, relax, relax. So she's really anxious, so it's really hard for her to stand still and like experience the environment. So I'm just want her to chill for a sec. Hey, 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 shh, shh. Like, just want her to relax. Ah, ah, ah. She's very stressed. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Hey, hey, hey. She also pulls a lot on the leash, hey. So I wanna not let her shoot ahead. Ah, ah, ah. I know, which is hard for her because her friends are all back there. <laughs> relax, 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 relax. Shh, good. Maya, ah, ah. So I'm gonna go back and forth a bit because I wanna just get her used to the leash pressure just before we go anywhere. So if you wanna just stand there. Come here. Good girl. So I'm just gonna walk and if she pulls ahead, I'm gonna turn again. Come on. Ah, 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 ah. Come on. Good. So what I'm gonna do shh, is I'm gonna see how she's gonna do. Okay, she's already clocked him, so I'm gonna try to go in this trash and go around. Shh. Good girl, Maya. So if she gets too reactive, I'm not gonna be able to give her treats, which is gonna happen, of course. Ah, ah. Good. Shh. Nope. <laughs> You got the video. <laughs> hey, hey. So now I'm just gonna keep walking her. Cause, so once she gets up to that screamy, then there's nothing you can do except start over. So ideally in that situation, I would have walked past, but there was cars and garbage and shit. So we had to just stand there, which is way more intense cause it's building and building and building and building and then she explodes. I just want her to chill for a sec. And like, at that point, you can't give her treats because it's not gonna do anything, so, all right. Hey, I'm Anna Tank Dogs, this is Jessie, this is Maya. Jessie's Maya's walker, and today we're just gonna walk a little bit and do some coaching and see um, how different people walk dogs and how um, you can kind of perfect your positioning while you're walking your dog, especially a crazy one like her. All right, let's walk. Okay, so correct her a little bit, bring her back, good. Good, and then release. Good, and then walk. Good. So I like that his arms are relaxed. A lot of people go like this. Here, let's walk slow. So bring her back, good. She's gonna pull a lot because her mom's over there, but basically, let's let them pass. Good girl, Maya, good. So yeah, so I like his arm is super relaxed and chill. Um, correct her again. Good. And you can do like a quick like boop and then release. Yeah, 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 good. And like that's perfect. Um, head up. Yeah, good, good, good. Good. Yeah, so Jesse's pretty good at like being chill and zen because he's walked Maya a bunch of times before. Um, Zoe gets a little more anxious, um, you know. <laughs> It's, you have to balance being aware of your surroundings and not freaking out about things that could happen here. Relax, 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 relax. Good, good. So it's really, really hard for her to just chill out, chill out. Good, good, okay. All right, good girl. And that was really good, there was no negotiating. He just walked and she just went with him. Um, this is a really short leash, so it's kind of okay that it's tight, but I would correct her there a little bit. Yep, good. And just try not to let her get like past your f front foot, you know what I mean? So that's good, but keep it like relaxed. So there's a dog up ahead, so she might start pulling, but since the dog's going the other direction, that's actually better. So as long as you keep like a good distance, she shouldn't get too worked up. Good. And if you ever want to like reset her, you can just have her sit and just like bring her back down mentally. Good. 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 And you want to try to like have as little tension as possible. So like here, like 
like this, and then shh, like, and then release it there. So like very loose, you know, like you can hold it short, but you want it to be like boop, 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 like swinging like a purse. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> And then so walk slow and we're gonna have to stop at a certain point because there's a dog sitting up there so we'll just let her kind of adjust to them for a bit um, but that was good yeah and yeah like you can hold those little knots if you want to keep it shorter I also sometimes like to here I'll show you here stop her um, sit so if she's being really annoying and like defiant if you don't want to be yanking her on the prong constantly sorry I poked you in the eye um, my bad. You can kind of do a double leash situation and keep like your leg between these two leashes, if that makes sense. So like try, see how that works and like use both of the leashes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so if you need a hard correction, use the top leash and then the bottom one is your like emergency, oh shit break. Good, and then relax. Good. So now use the bottom leash. Oh, it's hot. Oh, God, we're getting <laughs> blasted in the face. All right. And now she knows she's going home, so she wants to pull more. That's normal. Pull her back a little. Good. Good. So I would shorten your green leash. Yeah, yep. No, that was good. Just shorten it, like, make it tighter. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Good, 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 good. And then lower your right arm. Yeah, like relaxed. Yes. Good. Good, and that was good. Like you nudged her with the top leash and then you followed up with the prong. Um, Cause you don't wanna just be constantly yanking on the prong cause then she's just gonna get desensitized. Um, so that was actually good. You backed it up. Mm -hmm. Good. And yeah, like take as many like breaks as you want. Like if she's getting really worked up, like it's okay to have her sit and chill and burp or whatever that was. Um, I guess that's fine. Oh, that feels nice. Um, and then when she gets to the gate, have her sit there too. And then we're gonna trade off and have Zoe do it. Still how close, okay, so sit her, sit her there. Good, so then Zoe, wanna take over and we'll walk back the other way? Yeah. Okay. Hey, this is Anna Tank Dogs again. Now we're with Zoe, who's Maya's owner, um, and we're gonna kinda walk with her and coach her through it a little bit. You're good, <laughs> we're gonna walk. <laughs> okay, so just start walking with her. So, relax, good. So Maya's better with her because she's not looking for her. Before when we were walking her, she was looking at Zoe and trying to get to her. So now she'll be slower, good. Good, keep walking, keep walking. I'm gonna walk behind you and tell you what's good. So that's really good. Yep, so I like that. That was a short little correction. Good. So in your big thing is you just have to like remember to relax every couple of steps. Yep. <laughs> Because you tend to like, the leash gets higher and higher and higher and tenser and tenser and tenser and then she's more and more intense. So just like always like, brrr, like loose, bloop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good. And you can let her pee if she wants to pee. Good girl. Mm -mm. So, and you can spin her around again or you can just, yep, 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 yep. Good, good, good. So it's better to generally keep them in motion than to kind of like stop and adjust them. And like, if you can do a spin around move, that's better with another dog or with anything position wise. So correct her with the green leash or shorten it a little. Good, good. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, get yourself situated. Yeah, good, perfect. I would hold this one here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So now like with Jesse, you have the orange one as like an emergency break that's on the prong and then you have the slip as more of a directional thing. So, if, so what you're doing now, since you're correcting her a lot, just start correcting her on the green and then back it up with the 
with the orange if she doesn't listen. So, and then, Good. yeah. Good girl. Good. There it is. Good. And like, try to keep your hands super relaxed and arms relaxed. Um, good. Yeah, so that was good. You did it a couple times, realized that wasn't working. Okay, back up. Because sometimes just switching up the sensation yeah. is like what they need. And also, this is after, you know, a lot of parks, she's really hot and tired. So this is going easier than if we did this first right out the gate. Um, but I'm happy with that. Good. Good. And so, like, we'll see if there's, there's no dog, but... If there was a dog coming, what you could do, if you felt like unconfident with the situation, you can either do what we just did and swing and go the other way, or you can get between two cars and kind of hide out and distract her, but she might react, or you can cross the street entirely and just go the other way and just avoid the whole situation. Like, it's actually fine to do that. It's not like, oh, but she needs to practice and socialize. Like, no, like the less blow ups she practices, the less she'll do it. So if you want to just remove, that's totally fine. But if you see a dog where you're like, you know, like we have a lot of space. I think that dog looks pretty chill. Let's test it. Then what you could do is smoosh her up against this wall and just kind of like let them give you a wide berth and test it out and see like, you know, and then she reacts great. Awesome. Reward, praise. That's a one positive experience like in your bank. Mm -hmm. And if she doesn't, that's fine. Then, you know, for next time, like whatever this is what I did wrong, this is what she did wrong, this is next time maybe we'll cross or go the other way or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and so when she gets to the gate, uh, make her sit so she's not bum rushing into the house again. Okay. Um, all right, so that was pretty good for her. Um, she only had one really bad reaction, everything else, she kind of was mellow. We were able to like avoid the situation or kind of address it. And she was really good at the park. So overall, pretty good walk for her. This is a work in progress. She's, we've been working on this for months and months and months and she's been way, way, way worse. So I'm gonna take that as a good thing. Even if your dog makes one single mistake, that doesn't mean all your work is ruined. Progress is very not linear. So take the win.